Hello, welcome. Today we're going to go into a flying lotus challenging position. You need to be quite confident to do this one. And we'll do some core strengthening work from that as well. So flying lotus and core strengthening postures. So let's begin. Come into a um, warm up position. So the fabric behind your shoulder blades. Coming into kneeling for this one. If it's tall enough, you can also take the fabric um, behind your neck, no problem. Just allow the back of your head to rest the weight of you in the hammock. Make sure you hold on um, very carefully. But this is not stressful for your neck, it's good, it stretches your neck. You can just lean back and allow the weight of your head to pull up as your body weight pulls down. It looks scary, but it's not that weird actually. You can also be ready to catch yourself with your fingertips on the floor, but you should be fine. Gentle sway, not too much. Lifting up, hold on and pull yourself up. If the hammock is low enough, the fabric can be under your shoulder blades. And you can hold on, wrap just once and allow yourself to circle from your hips. So <clears throat> circling over the knees and let your hips move in a circle. Stretch up tall, let your lower spine lengthen. And go the other way. If there's any discomfort on your knees at all, don't do this sitting, do this standing up instead. We're going to do that now, so coming up slowly. You can be on your toes for this one. You can reach up really high. Hold on, one, two. And with the legs and feet together, you can circle. Let your body stretch long. And circle the other way. Great. Now, release. Bring yourself with your right leg in the hammock and bring the length of the hammock along your leg. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, fold forward. Make sure the fabric is all the way up over your hip. Let your left leg slide back. Stretch it to the side and to the front. Back, side and front. And then slowly come up to standing. Bring your right leg out, take your left leg in. Hammock all the way along. Inhale up, exhale forward. And let your right leg go out, back, forward. And again. And bring that right foot to the floor and coming up. Shake out your hammock. Bring your right knee in all the way up to your ankle. Hold the front edge in front of you. Find the edge with your thumbs and as you fold forward you can just straighten up that right leg you're lying on your front and stretch out side to side like a big banana. Onto your elbows, bend your knees, and if you feel you can press weight down with your palms onto the fabric, you can eventually come up to sitting with all of your lower leg pressing into the hammock. Reach up, hold on, and then step out behind. Shake out your hammock, bring your left knee in up to your ankle, find the front edge with your thumbs. As you reach forward, straighten up your left leg and palms together. Again, stretch in the middle, inhale. Exhale, bend from side to side. 
try and encourage a nice long stretch in your lower spine. It's always good to stretch the spine. It's what we aim for in yoga most of the time. To stretch and stabilize your spine. Then bring your elbows pressing into the hammock and press your palms into the hammock. At the same time, bend your knees so you can rest your weight onto your lower legs and then stretching up tall, reach up, hold on and then take your feet to the floor behind. Excellent. Now you're going to continue your warm up with the fabric behind your hips. You're going to gently lean back, fabric behind your hips this time and bring your arms forward. Then pretend you're sitting, straighten out your right leg, lift and lower, just hover above the floor. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. And the other side, the more slow you do this, the more challenge your core. That's that. So we're going to do the flying lotus, which is a forward fold position. And just to prep for that, I'm going to shake out the hammock and come to standing in the hammock. Just notice how your weight distributes when you're in the hammock. So that left sole with the fabric bunched under the arch of your foot. Big inhale, come up onto the toes of your right leg, hold up high on the fabric with both hands and send your weight straight down so that when you come up to stand in the hammock, you don't swing too much when you're standing in the hammock. Take a tree, so bring your left shoulder in front, take your right leg out behind, wrap your right ankle in front, press the sole of your right foot to your left thigh. Open your right knee back, open your left hip back. Hold on above with your right hand. And open back with your left arm. Keep pressing your left hip back. Now bring your left arm in front of the hammock and hold on up above with your arm and shoulder in front and then reach out your right foot and hold on. Stretching away into the heel. Big inhale, full exhale. And then bring that right foot back, pressing down into the hammock. And you can bring the left knee out and wrap the ankle in front. Press the knee back, press your right hip back. Hold on above with the left hand and send back your right arm and send back your right hip. Big breathing. Breathe and press. Now bring your right shoulder in front so that you're holding on up in front on the right side. And then you can reach out, straighten out that left leg, push away your heel and breathe. Stretch and breathe. Big inhale, full exhale, and then coming back with that left foot into the hammock. Hold on both sides, and you can bend the knees as you allow yourself to slide down. Bring your knees behind. Knees behind and soles of your feet together. So you end up in a, like a lotus position with the fabric in front of your hips. So I'll do that again. So you're standing, you're holding onto the edges, your feet side by side, slowly move down. You can send your seat back behind you. My knees go out behind, the elbows are out to the side. Then your soles to sole, feet pressing against each other. The fabric is in front of your hip crease. You need to hold on. Bring your left shoulder in front and you can hold the front edge with your fingertips. 
Then keep leaning forward, bring your right shoulder in front, but don't launch yourself forward. Just gauge the balance of where you are. Now make sure you've got the right height for your hammock because if your hammock's too low, your head will touch the floor. So just to make sure, you're going to hold on as you lower down. So keep your elbows pointing out to the sides. Hold on with your fingertips above your hips so your hands don't get squashed and trapped in against your hip and the hammock. So just above where your waist is, so there's a gap. You can gauge it. You don't need to hold on if you, you've got enough floor space, but just in case, go down slowly. And I've just about got enough. There's a gap between my head and your floor, so that's fine. And you can press away the knees and open out. Now, if that's uncomfortable, if you're finding it digs in your hip crease, you can place a small pillow, cushion, or wrapped up in towel or folded up blanket in between there. And it should feel less pressure. So if you want to go down without holding on, you can, it's perfectly safe. Just make sure your hammock is not one of those stretchy ones that will bounce and your head hit the floor. So I'm gonna go down, no, um, no hands. And it's fine. When you want to come up, you can just walk your hands up. You need to take your elbows out to the sides. Walk your hands up slowly, come halfway up, breathe. And then you can whoosh all the way up, you need to hold on. And then to step out, you're just straightening up your legs and bring one foot to the floor. So be very careful with the flying lotus. You need to have a great sense of balance to do this one and some core strength. And make sure there's enough space between the bottom of the hammock and the floor. So you want, essentially, you want the hammock to be about level with your hip when you hold your hand flat. The hammock would be there. Finish there. Mine's a little low today. <laughs> so make sure you're comfortable before you forward fold. Make sure it doesn't dig in too much into your hip crease. You don't want to trap any nerves or anything like that. Make sure you're happy with Lotus. And next time I'll show you some other movements that you can do from that Lotus position. I'll see you then. Namaste.